Segmentation helps firms to classify customers into groups, such that customers within a segment have homogeneous preferences and characteristics, and yet customers across segments are significantly different from one another. The most important data block in a segmentation study is called the segmentation data, which contains segmentation variables, also called segmentation bases. In segmentation data, each segmentation variable is represented as a column and each customer is represented as a line. Ingenius can segment customers based on past behavior, responses to surveys, or any other data available about them. If segmentation variables use different scales, for instance, if the first question is a simple yes-no, the second question is on a 1 to 7 scale, and the third question is on a scale from 0 to 100, it is important to standardize the variables first to make them comparable in the analyses. Ingenius offers other, more advanced ways to scale, transform, or standardize the data, too. Customers might be described by additional variables, called discriminant variables or descriptors. These variables might not be relevant to segment the customers from a business point of view, but they may be useful nonetheless to describe the segments after they've been created. For instance, you may want to describe each segment in terms of average age, revenue, or media habits. If you have descriptors available, store them in a separate data block. Click on Run Discriminant Analysis and select your discriminant data in the dialog box. Note that customers need to be listed in the exact same order in both the segmentation and the discriminant data blocks. You then have to decide in how many segments you are going to group your customers. You can let the software make a guess about the most appropriate number of segments, or you can specify the number of segments yourself. A good idea is to first let the software decide automatically, and then manually explore whether more or less segments lead to more insightful solutions. The first section of the report, Segment Solution, shows how customers have been grouped together and displays the dendogram and the scree plot. This is useful information to see if the number of segments makes sense from a statistical point of view. We'll cover that in another tutorial. The segments are then described, both in terms of absolute sizes, relative sizes, and average segmentation variables. A value in red indicates that customers in a segment have a particularly low average value on one segmentation variable compared to the rest of the population. A value in green indicates that the value is particularly high. The same table is duplicated and displayed next in graphic format to facilitate readability. The segmentation space displays the segments as they position themselves compared to the various segmentation variables. Finally, the table of segment membership indicates to which segment each customer belongs. Only the first 10 customers are displayed in the default report, but the full list is available if you download the report in Excel format. If you have discriminant variables, an additional section called discriminant analysis will appear in the report. Each segment will be described in terms of average discriminant variable or descriptor. The color code is identical to the previous section, and the data will also be displayed in graphic format.